Hi, today we're going to be making fruit sorbet. And today I am using strawberries and blueberries, which I've frozen for about three to four hours. And I'm doing this because they are so wonderful. Berries are just so great, we're full of antioxidants and vitamins, just absolute superfoods. And just sorbet is such a nice way to get extra fruit into your diet. So what I've done is I've frozen them, like I said, for three to four hours. I've just had a half sheet pan, lined it with parchment paper, sliced the strawberries in half, and then just lay the blueberries out. You don't want them to be touching because you don't want to have them all be in a big glob when you put them in the food processor. You can also use a high speed blender if, if that's what you have as well. So you just, and then we also need about one to two tablespoons of raw honey. So if you can get local, that'd be the best for allergies. But depending on your taste, one to two tablespoons. I also squeezed in half a lemon. I absolutely love my lemon squeezer. Makes it super easy to squeeze it in. There's no seeds or anything, so super nice. You just whiz it up in the food processor. And at some point you're gonna see, it's gonna get a little bit chunky. So at that point you're gonna be kinda like, this is not looking like sorbet. But don't freak out, just get some warm water, just a little bit at a time, pour a little bit of warm water in there, scrape the fruit off the sides, so you're getting it all in there. Go back to food processing it or blending it and it's gonna all come together. And with the next, you know, a few seconds, you're gonna end up with this beautiful sorbet. And coming right out of the food processor or the blender, it's really at that sorbet texture, so you can pretty much just eat it uh, right out of here. It's at that nice, nice texture here. But if you wanted it a little bit firmer, you can just get it, put it in a container and freeze it for a few more hours or overnight. And you can do this recipe with any fruit you have on hand. Mangoes, pineapples, bananas, pretty much any fruit you just have hanging around, you can make a delicious fruit sorbet out of. So hope you enjoy.